Welcome back to Tatooine Table Flip. I am Jimmy, and today I'll be unboxing Vast Crystal Caverns, the miniatures expansion. These take the place of all of the components in the main game, and I believe the expansion as well. I'm not entirely sure yet. This is part three of my Vast trilogy. <laughs> Heard it when I said it. Let's get this thing open and have a look at these. I cannot wait. Okay, this is the miniatures expansion for Vast the Crystal Caverns. If you have not seen either of my other unboxings in this Vast trilogy, uh, one for the base game and the other for the Fearsome Foes expansion, then you can click the banners that should be showing up at the top of the screen there, and those should click you through to either of those. I suggest you go watch those before watching this one. Let's go ahead and this open and have a look. Already telling by the box, I am excited to see these miniatures. If you've seen the show at all, you know that I love miniatures games. As with the other two, we have the same high quality heavy box that has the nice, slick, shiny, you can see by the reflection there, the coating. Let's get a little card. Says uh, miniature insert tray includes three empty slots, which you can use to store your minis for the ghoul, the ghost, and the nightmare unicorn included in Vast the Fearsome Foes. That is terrific. And there they are right there. I love that they've done that so we could consolidate those minis into this box and then the other components into the main box of the game. Let's start with this little baggie here. And it looks like they gave us minis to, in the base game, we had just little bits of wood. These were essentially wooden tokens. And one of them was this brown color I said looked like a mailbox. They're clearly the chests. And they gave us new molded versions. Chests, uh, this looks like some kind of a vault door or a trap door. And this looks like maybe a, those are some rocks, a pile of stones, maybe a heap of gold. I don't know. We have uh, what appears to be some fire, it's slightly translucent. Oh, and I can't keep a hold of them. Wow, those are great. I love it. This will really make the base game come alive instead of just a bunch of flat bits of wood with no artwork on them or tokens. Oh, these are amazing. I like this a lot. These nice crystals. Yeah, those are good. There's a ton of those in there. At least they're kind of tight. We have the sleeping dragon. It's a really nice model. We have the Awake Dragon. <laughs> These are great. Oh, we have the... Wow, they really are in here. Kind of tight. We have these three little goblin models. One sitting on... Uh, looks like... <laughs> giant teeth giant to him anyway one sitting on an eyeball oh, that's hard to tell hmm. and then one sitting on the oh they're each of them are sitting on in the base set if you look at my video there you'll see that there was again wood tokens that were these three shapes there was a crossbones there was something that was kind of oblong with pointy ends that I thought might have been an eye and that's I bet it corresponds with this and one that looked like teeth just the top part of the teeth and I bet it corresponds to these three get a models for the thief and the warrior wow these are really nice <laughs> The thief looks like such a sad sack. 
the giant lantern. I'm not going to pull that out. Uh, a ladder with some stuff stacked around it. Hmm. I wonder if this might be the maybe the entry point into the caves. Wow, that's really cool looking. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get the game to the table and get all this stuff out and get it on the on the map and get playing. It's terrific. But that's all there is to this. It's just a bunch of replacement models for the cardboard shits and stuff that are in the base game. Hey, that is the miniatures expansion for Vast the Crystal Caverns. I love that they dropped this whole box of minis. Typically a game will drop a box of miniatures to replace the standees or other tokens in a game, but they don't do just the regular token replacement. And in this they did, the little rock walls, the little treasure chests, the vault doors, what have you. And the detail in these things is amazing. I'm greatly impressed with how much trouble, they didn't just make little minis, but they made pretty finely detailed little minis and it replaces everything in the base set, the tokens and all, it's fantastic. And there's no extra cards or rules or anything in this box. So be sure that you want to bling your game out, as they say, before you pick this thing up. But I would suggest it because I can't wait to incorporate this into the game. Get the game to the table, get playing, and get all of this stuff out on the map. All these just look fantastic, and it's just going to be a lot of fun. They've also themed them out, as you can see, to their colors, to the cards in the base set, uh, etc. The insert holds all of them really tightly so they're not bashing around against each other. And they included three spaces in there for the models that come in the other expansion for the game, which I thought was uh, really terrific foresight. Hey, you guys, uh, that's going to do it. There's really not a lot more to say about this, except that this is just an outstanding set of miniatures. You can find me online at BoardGamerBlues.com or on the socials. I am at BoardGamerBlues at Facebook and Twitter, or you can email me directly. It's J-I-M-M-I-E at BoardGamerBlues.com. Shoot me a message. Say hi. Tell me you like the show. Tell me you don't like the show. Tell me what you want to see. I have loved all of the suggestions and I think we're going to tweet the format of the uh, review episodes a little bit because uh, there's been a lot of feedback and it's all been if not outright positive it's all been very constructive we haven't really had anybody you know uh, send us any messages telling us that we suck or they hate us or whatever <laughs> so I'm I'm thankful for that thanks you guys um, let's see you can uh, find me on Instagram I like seeing all of your board game pictures over there and chatting with you guys a little bit. If you follow me, I'm going to follow you back. And uh, we have a podcast. It's Tatooine Table Flip the Podcast. You can find that on all of the usual podcatchers. And lastly, we have a Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Tatooine Table Flip. I'd appreciate it if you guys could go over and have a look. If you like what we're doing, chuck a buck at us. It helps us keep the lights on, help us, helps us uh, upgrade our equipment and keep the content flowing. If you like what we're doing, you know, Every little dollar helps, even if it's only a buck. Every buck helps. It's uh, a, a really solid way to help become a producer of both of the shows, and I'd appreciate it a lot. Uh, let's see. I think that's going to do it this time, you guys. I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. I will see you next time on Tatooine Table Flip. Keep an eye out for the reviews. I know we've had a lot of unboxings up recently. Um, we've got two more for Vast for the other two bits. Keep an eye out for those. Hopefully there will be a banner at the top of the screen here somewhere if I can get it to work so you can click through to either of those. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I will see you next time. Bye. We'll